Hey, hi everybody. So what I want to do here really quickly is just talk about powers. I'm going to spend a few videos here introducing uh, powers and their, their properties because I think there's some uh, confusion as to how they work. So first of all, let's take a look at what a power is. So I'm going to write this out here, x to the y. That right there everybody, this is a power. Okay, so this whole thing here, this is what we call a power. And a power consists of two parts here. You've got your base, and then you've got your exponent. Okay? Now, sometimes, you know, frequently, when people use the word power, they're actually referring to just the exponent. And, and that's okay, uh, because that doesn't really cause any kind of confusion. Everybody really knows what we're all talking about here. But, but technically speaking, uh, the base with the exponent together, that's considered the power. And what it means here is this, this thing right here, this is equivalent to a value um, that has y factors of x, okay? Has y factors of x. Now, the word factor means, when we talk about factors of x, x is a factor, x is being multiplied by something else to get another value here. So, x to the y means we're going to have x times x times x times, and it goes on and on until we've got y of them. And we might even count them by putting little subscripts here. I've got 1x, then 2x, then 3x, all the way up until I've got y of them multiplied together. Now, I don't think that that's anything too profound. I don't think I'm really knocking anybody out here, but you know that specifically here, if I give you x cubed, this is equivalent to a value where x is a factor three times. So this is x multiplied by x multiplied by x. Not a problem. So let's get more specific here. What if it was two cubed? Well, I know that that's two times two times two, and I know that that's gonna be equivalent to eight. Okay, so I can do something with this once I have a value in the base and a value in the exponent. I know what that means. Now, I want to offer just a little bit of clarity here. What if you've got 2x cubed? What is that the same as? What's going on here? Well, it's important to understand what the power is here, okay? Uh, the power is not 2x cubed. The base is not 2x here. The power is x cubed. And then it's being multiplied by 2. Order of operations tells me that I got to do the exponent before I do the multiplication. And it's important to know that the exponent only applies to the thing that's directly in front of it. So this is not equal to 2x multiplied by 2x multiplied by 2x. Okay, 2x cubed is equal to, let's do the exponent here first, it's going to be x times x times x. And then I multiply that by, by a factor of 2. Now, if this is what I wanted, okay, then I need the 2x to be the base. Well, the exponent only applies to the symbol directly in front of it. So if I want that to be uh, cubed here, then what I need to do is I need to put parentheses or brackets around the 2x. See, now the cube applies to the parentheses or whatever's inside the parentheses here. Now, I hope that makes sense because probably one of the most common errors that gets made is, is using this right here. When I show you something like this, if I go negative 6 squared, very, very often people will do this without even thinking about it, and they'll just give me the answer is 36. But the answer isn't 36 here. I have to do the square first. This is really the same. This expression, the way it's written right here, is really the same as negative 1 multiplied by 6 squared. And so I have to do the exponent first because the exponent only applies to the 6, not with the negative 1 there. So this is going to be the same as negative 1 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6. There's two factors of 6 here. And so this actually gets you negative 36. Okay? If the intention was that this was going to be positive, then we would have had to have put parentheses around that, in which case this becomes negative 6 Okay, multiplied by negative 6. The negatives in this case would cancel, and 6 times 6 is 36. So I just want you to understand what a power is and, and how the notation works.